earlier you mentioned something about your daughter being bullied. Why is she being bullied? Uh, so I can't answer that question. Is it because of the interview? No. no. So I would say that I think at that age, it's a lot for a teenager. You right. know what I mean? My daughter is very... It's a social butterfly. She's a social butterfly. Mm -hmm. um, she's the only kid. So I think she, she wants to be accepted. She has the only kid syndrome. Yeah, she wants to be accepted. You know what I mean? Even sometimes when they are mean, she's still trying to be like forgiving to give them another chance. She has a lot of empathy as well. So, right. so they take that her kindness for weakness. For weakness. And bullying is not the same as it used to be. So back in the day when I used to get bullied, I told you, um, I was hurt. I never wanted to commit suicide, but I never wanted to go to school because I knew that I would be crying and doing the most. Like going to school would be like a torture for me because it would be people that didn't really care just, for me. Right. It's not the same now. The platform is different. Um, it takes one post for the world to know something. Mm -hmm. Not even a school anymore. You right, know. There's internet, social media. Um, my daughter's, um, like her teeth, they, you know how kids sometimes their teeth grows. Hers, when I'm trying to take her to go to the dentist, they told me that it was too late. Like it was too early that her, um, her baby teeth didn't fall in yet. Okay. So she needs that in order to get her braces. Mm -hmm. They make fun of that girl every day about her teeth. And she looks just like me. So when I'm, <laughs> she's crying, I'm like, you look like me, yeah. you know? And she's like, my teeth are not like yours. Little stuff, right. you know? No, they're kids. But they, they, they are kids that are, that's been dealing with trauma and staying at home for the past year and a half or two. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they've been telling each other things. Now it's time to do these things that they've been telling each other that they've been trying to do. Rather it's fighting, rather it's confronting each other. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't play fair no more. You know what I mean? Um, before you know it's a fight, before you know it's a stabbing, before you know it, guns are being pulled. Like, it's not the same. But I have a feet though? Yes. Yeah, the yes. girls are yes. like that? Yes, very big. Um, now, it got to the point where it got so bad that I had to switch my daughter's school and I really wanted to move too because they harassed my phone. They called my phone. Kids, hold on. Who, the who, kids. The kids are calling your phone? Yes. The what are they calling you by say? I called the parents and... I think they told me they didn't want to be involved because I called the school. Oh, I've been going to the school. School doesn't help neither. Like, it's almost like the school want to protect themselves. It's like if that one kid is being bullied, they don't want to hear about it. They don't want to really do much because it's like it's a reflection of their school now. They rather push that kid to go to another school and then deal with it from there. Oh, shit. Okay. I was going to move. We even lost and, and everything. And I'm like, I'm not going to move. I'm going to make sure that I stand up for this. And I'm starting to think about a nonprofit foundation to help against bullying, but mostly um, proactively help against bullying. Mm -hmm. What are we doing that these kids are becoming so like unsensitive, you know? They have no empathy. Um, putting in place a system in school that's dedicated to bullying, you know what I mean? Like, um, cool kid. Figure out the cool kids, let's grab you. You look like you could help. Cause people, you know, society, everybody, the cool kid, it's like, you know, mm -hmm. you the cool kid, you'll even be cooler for helping other kid. You'll even be cooler for, you know, helping other, other kid helping, paying forward, you know what I mean? It's okay to be cool outside of your group. Just because you have somebody from outside of the clan that you usually have, that doesn't mean that you're a loser, because that's how people are looking at it. Like, oh, you talk to them, don't talk to them, he's a loser. And then now you don't want to be friend with them no more. Like, it's, it's so little, but as a kid, so big. Mm -hmm.